a time to remember six million Jews and millions of others killed by a genocidal, oppressive Nazi regime. And News 12's Hannah Klieger spoke to a survivor and those who have dedicated their lives to keeping their memory alive. In my family was killed 29 members of my family, only four survived. Meet a Baikov, chairman of the Holocaust Remembrance Association, was one of just over 100 people who made it out of Bogdanovka concentration camp, where most of his family was murdered. I was one year and eight months when Germany occupied Odessa. And all my family, 33 people, were transported to extermination camp. He now works closely with the Ukrainian community of Bogdanovka, who are going to special measures to preserve and respect the site. I was able to experience being on that blood-soaked ground where 54,600 people were massacred in less than 45 days. And the association is taking part in today's troubles too, working to bring humanitarian aid to Ukraine. We've been uh, sending medical supplies, uh, clothing and donating money uh, that benefited uh, people of Ukraine. We also sent some money to the uh, Ukrainian Red Cross. We work directly with them. Meanwhile, right here in Sheepshead Bay and Manhattan Beach is one of the largest communities of Holocaust survivors in the city. This park here was created as a space for reflection and to think about those atrocities because many of the victims of the Holocaust didn't even have graves. Vivian Singer is co-president of the Holocaust Memorial Committee. It's the only Holocaust park in the city of New York outdoors. She, like many others, say the most important thing is to remember what happened and insist on never again. I never knew while my grandmother was alive that she had seven sisters whose family with their children, husbands perished during the war. Hannah Klieger, News 12.